Hi, and welcome to another Havoc Suns video. What you're looking at, yes, is a Gateway 2000 mug. But what is uh, interesting about this mug is it represents what I think was the best era of Gateway, when they were called Gateway 2000. Uh, being a, a, a gamer uh, pretty much all my life, and I also had a computer repair business. It was a mobile computer repair business, and I... I mean, I, I think I was pretty knowledgeable in computers, at least as far as building and using, and de definitely in game playing. Uh, now, but we're talking about an era that was many years ago, when land, land gaming was just coming out. And, uh, you know, 486s and Pentium 1s were about all you could really get. The reason why I'm shooting this video is because I acquired, in my older video, I acquired a older 486 Gateway that was part of the Gateway 2000 era, and I remember it fondly because for store-bought system, and this is my opinion, I'm sure others have theirs, it was probably the best computer you could buy for the money. It was well-built. The motherboards that they picked, the Macronics were fantastic boards. Even their uh, the way they set up their their cabling was everything about it right down to the boxes and the cowhide architecture it was just a fun great robust machine and i loved them and i love this logo unfortunately like everything's things changed one of the owners and the founders of the company decided to bow out for a while and gateway lost I say lost, but they basically decided to trade up. And they went with this. This is their new logo. Notice, doesn't even really fit. You had to kind of like twirl it. They kind of still wanted you to remember that they were founded in the country of uh, Suez City, Iowa. Uh, in a farm, and they actually did start building in a farm. This is their later gateway mug. And the reason why I bring this up, the reason why I bring, I'm bring, i filming this is because I happen to have, like I said in my earlier video, the 486 built during the Gateway 2000 era when they just were building dynamite systems. And I have the newer system and anything past late 90s in the 2000s was part of this system and you might have heard in other videos that I've done um, Boston Acoustics they had some really nice speakers on these computers uh, that was about the only good thing about those computers because quite honestly anything after 2000 they were just crap and I had I bought two of them for uh, later on I sold my computer repair business and I started a, a CAD drafting company, um, AutoCAD. Uh, and uh, man, I loved it. I had wide format printing and all kinds of stuff. And it was that was a fun company. And I bought two gateways not knowing that they had dropped so much. And um, just in, in, across the board, they just... They, they, both most systems were just crap. And you know, at a, at a high tech... CAD company also printing out wide format we're talking about 44 inches wide by 120 inches long if something erred or the computer froze that was a lot of money that you just lost and uh, I look back at this series gateway with uh, a lot of disdain and it, it just it's so sad how bad a company can drop so for your viewing pleasure I'm going to show you my newer gateway. And we're going to look in the inside of that. Now, if you want to look at um, the differences, take a look at my older video that talks about this gateway. Uh, and you can see the differences there. So, hang on one sec. Let me pull, pull out my newer gateway. Or kind of what's left of it. Well, here she is. We used to call this one... I don't know if you can kind of see it, it's kind of faded. Mustang, a little sticker we put on it. And, uh, you can't even see our old logo, but it was kind of cool. 
this is the EM, I believe, the EM4600. It's a P4. And uh, this is not original. And it had a 1.22 floppy, a uh, 1.44 floppy, and a tape drive. I'm going to try to bring it back. Now, all those things, I bought it from the factory with that. It was ready to go. Now, inside the system, and you have to excuse the lighting, uh, I'm going to have to, I am, I, you know, I just got my, my badass tripod. But now I'm going to have to work on lighting. So you see my old uh, 486 over there. Um, like I said, she's part of the old pre-2000 gateways. Um, but here, inside here, I, I, I don't even know what's original. I know the video card's not original. The sound card is. Um, this is a, a USB 3 and a Firewire, which did not come with the board, the card. Um, the RAM is original. The fan here and the power supply are both not original because they both failed. It, it um, you know, it really is a crap board. I'm not even sure the manufacturer. Uh, was very buggy. Uh, locked up a lot. And if you notice, these little stickers, that's how they came. I, I mean, I peeled them off to see there was more here. And there's like a metal fabric sticker for shielding on the other end. And then this little plastic shielding uh, on this end. And basically, what what just is telling you is this is a stripped down version. I mean, you could see on the other side of the board where stuff used to go here. And I mean, all that really is here is the bare minimum. Uh, Oh, yeah, no, it's the E4600, not the EM4600. MNTE4600 is the model number of this. This is, like I said, the video card. This is my network card. Oh, that's right. Um, it, I don't even think it was... No, it didn't have an onboard LAN, so I had to put a LAN, a USB, a USB 2. This was actually a pretty cool card. It had a, a, a 1000... An E1000 NIC, um, uh, a USB 2, there was two of them, but this one broke, and a Firewire. And then this is the stock sound card. I think this is, a, other than the motherboard, this is probably all that's in it that is stock. Uh, you know, I'm going to try, I doubt that I can get the stock power supply. I don't know if that matters much. This one's got a little more kick to it. Um, I wouldn't even want to get the stock fan. It was such crap. It failed within a few months after warranty expired on it uh, but quite honestly everything in this was just a hunk of crap she currently is dead right now she's I can't get her to fire up uh, in part one of this video I'm just going to show you this and then later on what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get some lighting in here and oh this is uh, my ink always spills there's some blue and there's some red from my cat stuff because uh, this was on one of my cat workstations for the graphic artist to work on. And this was a really weird setup. One screw, this little flap, uh, basically covered all those. There was no uh, individual screws for the, for the cards, and it was a horrible system. It didn't work. Um, this is pressure activated right here. This right here is pressure activated. You slide it back to let it out and you bring it forward to lock it in and it is it's also crap it, it never it didn't work right it was supposed to be a screwless the whole thing used just um, one screw here and then one screw here these were clips that opened it up I don't even know where the panel is for this anymore uh, but this is her this is how she is now it's Intel P4 I'm going to see if I can get the the original CD-ROM. I don't even know if it was a CD or a DVD. But uh, and I don't know what type of video card. Usually I ran rendering video cards. I didn't run cards that were gamers uh, per se. So 
here she is in all her unglory and all her, her dyingness. Uh, I, I mean, seriously, she was a hunk of crap from from day one. Just just crap. Uh, but I, you know, I, I'm gonna try to get her to work again. I, I don't know why. I, <laughs> I guess it's because I want to see. I want people to remember before when Gateway was all that. And after, I mean, even the cups kind of suck. What shit? Okay, hey, like always, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day and a better life. See ya. Oh, you know what I just noticed? In the video, you didn't see these. So, yeah, here, I just set this cup down here. Video wasn't really watching. I apologize. And then, yeah, this is a cool cup. This is nice loveliness. And this right here is shit, just like the computer that it represents. Okay, again, thanks for watching. You have a great day and a better life. See ya.